Namaste and hello everyone. My name is Shavika and I help you navigate life through my experiences, lessons and stories. In today's video, we will be talking about how to say no to people and stop people pleasing. Let me start by asking you two questions. First, do you say yes to every opportunity or request that comes your way? And two, do you feel guilty and does it give you the chills when you want to say no to someone but you end up saying yes? I absolutely understand if this felt relatable because I have been there too and we all have been there. Let's address the elephant in the room. Saying no is hard. It can trigger a lot of emotions within us. It can make us feel guilty, anxious, stressed, apologetic, and sometimes so uncomfortable that we do not address the situation at all and just end up saying yes. While saying no to somebody you love or is a friend or is a family member or is your boss can be very uncomfortable for you, but some of the reasons that you do end up saying yes to every request and demand could be because you do not want to reject or you do not want to disappoint someone. You want to be liked more because probably saying no can make you feel like they will not end up liking you enough. It could also be because of FOMO, that is fear of missing out. And maybe that's why you're saying yes to every party, every birthday event, every other opportunity and every other night out. Now, I remember and this is story time, that when I was in my late teens and early 20s, I would say yes to a lot of uh, social commitments. As I was working on this topic in the background and doing my research, I was thinking to myself at what phase in my life was I a yes person and why was I so? And I came to the realization that most times or most social commitments that I said yes to were because of the reason so I do not feel left out or I do not feel that I missed out on something. And in all honesty, every time I would say yes to a commitment that I wanted to actually say no to, few hours before I was supposed to leave for it or few hours before I was supposed to actually do it, I would feel so overwhelmed and so anxious, so stressed out that it would eventually deplete me before the time I left. I know after I was there, it did make sense. But then before that, I would not feel my best self. I would even be angry at myself for saying yes. And I'm not going to lie, even till today, there are some times when I am saying yes to things and commitments where I actually want to say no for simple reasons like I do not want the other person to feel that I'm too busy for them or I'm ignoring them or I don't like them or I'm just a no person in general who always says no to something. You know, in my previous video, I talked about how to build confidence and increase confidence. But sadly enough, saying yes to everything is also a sign of lack of confidence and lack of self-value. You know, when you don't value yourself enough, you start to attach your value with what other people think of you, what their opinion is about you, how much they like you, and all of this because of the multiple yeses you've been saying in your life. And as harsh as it may sound, to constantly depend on other people's opinion of you and their approval will not make you happy in the long run. So here's three things that you can do to say no and stop people pleasing. Oprah Winfrey once said, nothing is showing up in your life that you didn't order there. Set boundaries. Just because you're getting hundreds of requests in a week or in a month does not mean you say yes to each one of them. Now, you must feel that you have to say yes because that will make you more likable to people or people will want to include you in more things. Let me tell you, these people aren't thinking about you. People follow your intention. And if your intention is constantly to say yes, that's what they follow. But if you end up deciding that I'm going to say no to things that I do not want to accommodate in my life or entertain in my life, then they will follow that intention. And let's be honest, most times they're not even thinking. I know saying no can make you feel very angsty, but setting boundaries then comes into the picture and helps your mental well-being. You decide what you give your time, effort, energy and services to. And just because you didn't order for it, it won't show up in your life. Number two, do not over explain yourself. I know as people, we have the tendency to say sorry before we say no to someone and we feel burdened to say no because, of course, it makes us feel guilty for rejecting someone or it makes us feel guilty and stressed out just because we're saying no. 
But it's highly important to not say no with a lot of explanation because that just shows that you do not value yourself enough and now you're trying to build that value based off of what the other person is thinking of you when you say that no. So you try and, you know, cover it up with all those excuses and all that story so that you are still making that likability uh, bar that you have in front of the other person. And I would say you should avoid doing that. If it's in a professional setting, then learn to say no by explaining that, sorry, I cannot take more projects at the moment because I'm overwhelmed with my work at the moment. And if it's on a personal level, then you can always say that I would not be able to make it to the Friday night out or the Saturday lunch because it's been a very busy week and I think my body needs to rest it out. It's that simple. Over explaining your no just explains your lack of self-confidence and self-value. It means you are constantly relying on the approval of other people, on how much you are liked by other people, and how much and what do people think about you when you say a no. And lastly, build your self-confidence and improve your self-esteem. In my previous video, I've talked about this and how you can do it, especially one pointer where I mentioned that write down a list of things about yourself that you're good at and you feel you are talented in because then that gives you the confidence to know that you have potential and there's something that you bring to the table, which in turn builds your self-belief, which in turn builds your self-esteem and which eventually builds your self-confidence. So I highly recommend this activity where you write down everything that you're good at, everything that you have achieved in your life and start from there. And something to also remember and a very gentle reminder is that your real relationships in life will not abandon you if you start saying no. They will rather respect you for who you are, your time and what you stand for. Take charge of your life and decide what you do and what's best for you. Well, this brings us to the end of the video and if you like the video, then definitely share it with someone who is a yes person and if you found it useful then do subscribe to the channel because I post videos like these every Sunday, Wednesday and Friday. For now I shall see you on next Friday and until then you take care.